Dead BS Plays. It's a Let's Play. Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Danny BS Plays. Um, where today we are finally, we are hopefully going to successfully have it to where the voice will appear as I'm playing the game, rather than me recording it after uh, I've recorded gameplay. So, so basically, um, I'm still doing Sonic Adventure at this point, Sonic Adventure DX, but I figured I'd go ahead and do this, get something in while... I'm working on that. I'm almost done with it, but, you know, at this point in time. So, <coughs> what we got here is Ape Escape. As Spectre puts on his thing, as he as he looks very human-like, just anime human. So, you know, <laughs> just um, watching these monkeys go. They're monkeying around. Ah. <laughs> A gun in an E-Way game? No, uh that's not allowed. <laughs> I'm a pansy. So yeah. Point of this game is to catch monkeys like this right here. But is there more to it than that? We shall see. Now let me just say I have beaten this game a lot. But, I've mostly beaten it, beaten the PSP version, which is, uh, on, called On the Loose. So, uh, you know what, let me change the memory card real quick. I think it's still on, f you know, Tony Hawk right now, but... DVSP. Hopefully I got enough room. There we go. And, let's go. Let's watch this first cutscene. I'm used to playing the demo of this game, but, you know... Um, I know when they're about to talk, so I'll be quiet here in a minute. But, um, boy, that, that's not good, is it? <laughs> I am playing this on a disc, so... If any errors happen, it's, it's because it's on a disc, so... We'll just have to see what happens. Hopefully not too many problems. Hey, Spike, did the professor finish the time station yet? Are we gonna get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking because I'm going first. That's not fair. Hey, Professor! Spike, Jake, over here, watch out. Spike, the time station! <laughs> no, no, run you two! <laughs> I do remember this part very well. <laughs> if you're if you've ever played PlayStation All Stars, but not this, this is the scene. This is the fighting arena. It's a time machine. <laughs> wow! It looks like Spike smiling. <laughs> Actually did it, or something. It works. It works. It actually works. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. Time, ha ha ha. So, ladies and gentlemen, I shall let this cutscene play, and I will be right back. There's a cutscene about to play. Spike, can you hear me? You must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre. You're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the Earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The Stun Club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. 
And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with a the time net. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. Our fate is in your hands. We're depending on you. Be careful. Okay. Well, we just interrupted that. I mean, I didn't press a button. It just kind of did that. Same things kind of happen when you play like Crash 2 and stuff on here. So it kind of shows you the number. That's not the number of monkeys that are in the level, but that's the number that you have to get right now. So right now we're in the pre-dinosaur stage, I guess. Oh, and this was one of the very few PS1 games that actually required all the, you know, tilt the right thumbstick and swing your uh, stun club in any direction. Beat the enemies by swinging around and stun them. I don't know. <laughs> eh, I know what to do. Oh, and you press the R1 button to jump this time around. I'm going to have to sort of get used to this because I'm... By now, I'm actually kind of used to the, um, to the, uh, PSP version, because I've actually played it a little more. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch the gadgets around to, uh, I'm, I'm used to doing something like this, so. I know it seems probably a little weird, but, you know. Ow. You do kill enemies in this game, you just don't kill the monkeys, you just capture them. And of course, you stun them. You don't hurt them. You just stun them. Even though it definitely looks like you're hurting them, but you know. Which you can you can catch them without stunning them. So <laughs> you know. Ow! Ah, ow! 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 <laughs> ah! Although they can hurt you. And if you're wondering how the PSP version works. Well, you just press the button, since you don't have the other joystick, and obviously because of that, you only have three button options. But it's honestly, once you get used to it, though, it's honestly not a bad game. I mean, it's not a bad port of it. I just feel like, you know, a PS Vita version probably could have done a little better. Now, let me see if I've got everything in this level. Oh, yeah, i got to get the Spectre head there. You, you eventually unlock, like, uh mini games and stuff once you get those. There's three in this one, but there's four in the PSP version. But there are also different ones, so... Or altered ones. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so forgive me if I'm quiet for a minute. I did, didn't I? Boy, aren't you quiet. And this is our hub world. Of course, we have three little sections. I used to think this was supposed to be some kind of like hospital-like looking thing. Just the way it looked. Something about it. But until I realized, like, hey, those are directional buttons and little other buttons. Yeah. The warp room. <laughs> The loading is a bit faster in this version because the other one, whenever I go in there, it have now loading. So you've got the water covered up here. I think in the either in the demo or just the PSP version, these are uncovered, but I don't remember. So you got you got this. You can roll around the water there. Kind of a practice room, and these little screens are whenever you get new gadgets. You, uh, you can enter these again, just like, practice. Yeah. <laughs> Memory quad area. <coughs> so yeah, after here is where you got the mini games. Of course, you gotta unlock them first, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, scoot the mic a little closer to me. Okay, so you gotta get 10 for that. 20 for that, and for some reason, 40 for that. But, um... Most of these kind of suck, but they're fun for the time, and... Uh, we'll probably do a multiplayer thing of that sometime on here on the, for, uh... These Friends Play. Assuming These Friends Play is still a thing. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna save it. 
Yes, yes, I know. I realize that. Now, if there's any differences on this, in case you have played this before, but you played on, like, PS1 or PS2, um, it's possible the PS3 could have some errors and stuff, so who knows? Sometimes it doesn't always run the things well. It doesn't run, always run the games well. Okay, so, oh yeah, data. You gotta press the circle button. Has helmet hair problems. <laughs> no. Noonan? Noonan? Huh. George. Georgie? Wants to watch uh, wrestling. Natty? Dances to loud music. I guess you could say they monkey around. Oh, I'd already made that joke. But anyway. So let's save the game real quick. Just in case, you never know. Probably will be saving it, saving it after every level. Possibly. So, you never know what's gonna happen, so. So, 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 so. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> Here we go. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Look what I've got! A new gadget! Check it out! Oh, yeah, it's yours. This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Yes. So anyway, I forgot how quiet their voice, quiet their voices were. It's a good thing that they added subtitles in the PS, the PSP version. They do change the voices, and they speak a little louder. But also, they add subtitles. So, you know, there was like one scene in the uh, PSP version where you, uh, where it had the original audio. I'm pretty sure that was an error, or they forgot to do it, so they just kept that one in. I can't remember how you... Oh shoot. Did he go up? Okay. I didn't pay attention. If they said how to do it, I didn't pay attention. Mystic. Exiting water budget. Oh yeah, they have just these really confusing um, tactics. Yeah, in the PSP in the PSP version, it's a little simpler, a little bit more simple. Gotcha. So I like all these echoes and stuff going. And now they say, "Let's see, here's the exit. Don't forget." To... Oh, 